cognitive neuroscience has been able to solve the debate about whether we should use a teaching method focusing on phonics or word meaning for early reading instruction. Results of a recent study has shown that beginning readers who focused on letter-sound relationships had increased blood flow to the left hemisphere regions of their brains which have been shown to be associated with reading automacy in proficient readers. This study is one of the first to show that a particular teaching method has a direct neural impact on a specific brain region over another. In this study, the researchers devised a neuritin language and taught it using a phonics approach in a whole word meaning approach. Students were then given a reading test presenting new words and their brain waves were monitored as they attempted to recall them. Results showed that students taught using the phonics approach showed increased neural activity in the visual and language regions of the brain compared to those taught with the whole word meaning approach. These brain regions are typically not engaged by children or adults who struggle with reading. In contrast, those taught with the whole word meaning method showed a bias in neural activation to the right hemisphere regions of the brain associated with semantics. Research suggests that these different teaching methods will have different effects on brain reactions as they encourage learners to focus their attention in different ways. When a learner focuses their attention on different information associated with a word, different neural networks will be amplified. As we all know, the more cognitive and neural connections made, the deeper the learning, so it seems that we should employ both teaching methods instead of focusing on one over the other.